Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock. Now here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S10e. It's pretty shiny there on the back, so I don't know if the glare will exactly cooperate with us. But this is a device that does have the Google Account Lock enabled, because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup process, we get to the screen that says that it was reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with an account that was previously on the device. So it does have to be the prior account that was used. You can't just log in with any account. And that's basically what the Google Lock consists of. Google added it back in about Android 5 or so to help combat some of the theft and fraud that happens around the buying and selling of mobile devices these days. So when you do a factory reset to the device and don't first take off the account that's on it, it's going to ask you to log into that account again after the factory reset is performed. So we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a way to be able to remove this type of lock from this specific model, and it does not require us to have the original Google account login information. It's actually something that we do directly to the device while it's plugged into a computer, so that's actually exactly what we're doing right here right now as we have it plugged in. We should also mention that this is something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world, so you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can just remotely connect to your computer right through the internet and do the exact same procedure that we're doing right here right now. We've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking, them the, asking us for assistance with this specific issue, usually either because they themselves got locked out of the device accidentally and couldn't remember or couldn't recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled, and therefore the person that bought the phone obviously didn't have the email and the password to be able to get in. So we've been helping tons of customers over the years with this, and we tend to make this type of video for new models when they're released just to prove that we do indeed uh, have the capability to be able to do it for that model as well. Our removal program is just about finished up here, so we should just need another minute or so to let that run through, and then we should be able to see that we can indeed restart the device and then get all the way through the setup process once that is finished. So we'll give that just another minute here to finish up. All right, there we go. So it is shutting down there, and we're done with that, so we can go ahead and unplug that. There we do see that it's an S10e, and we'll show you more details about the actual model once we get into the settings. This one just happens to be from AT&T here in the U.S., Okay, so we're all set up. We can start going through the setup process here now. We're going to hit that. We're going to agree to the terms and conditions. We don't need Wi-Fi now, so we're just going to skip that. And then this is normally the part where the Google Lock would have shown up, but now it just asks us about the date and time. So that is a good indication that we have the lock removed. We're going to go through the Google services, and we don't need a screen lock, so we're just going to skip that. And now AT&T is going to ask us about a whole bunch of other setup stuff, and we're just going to skip all of that too. We're going to skip transfer, and we're going to skip our cloud setup because we don't need that. We don't need any more apps, so we're just going to skip that part too. Skip the Samsung account. Okay, there we go. I think we're finally done now. Yep, 
setup. So there we are. We're all the way through the setup process. We now have access to the home screen and all the apps and features, and it's just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. So again, let me jump into the settings here just to show you exactly what we're working with. So we do have a Galaxy S10e, and then with the model number there, the G970U. That's the same model number for all of the US versions of the S10e, no matter what carrier it originally came from. So if you have a Galaxy S10e and would like help getting the Google account lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information can be found right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.